Welcome back to Masterminds. Brownsville Lopez and West Laco East playing today. Lopez in the lead, 40 to 20. Let's meet the teacher coordinators from the two schools. We'll start with Lopez. Juan D, you're up. This is Mr. Kane. He is our science UIL, um, social studies UIL, masterminds, and academic decathlon coordinator. Welcome. Glad to have you here. We appreciate you being here today. And West Laco East, Rebecca. This is Mr. Galunga. He's our AP calculus teacher, and he recently completed his master's at Harvard University. Fantastic. Welcome. Glad you're here today. We appreciate that. Our teacher coordinators who help the students get ready for the games week in and week out. Third time for these teams. All right. Time for quick picks now. Students, we're going to ask you questions based on the pictures you're going to see on your television. Everybody's playing. You do need your buzzers. Here we go. Here we go. We'll start out with an easy one. Is Peacock. No. Is this a female or male? Lopez Ignacio. Male. That's correct. This is one of the most visited buildings on earth. What is it? Lopez Ignacio. Taj Mahal? No. East anyone? And time is up, St. Peter's Basilica. What is this common chemical compound? That's East Rebecca. Potassium nitrate. That's correct. This was once the tallest building in the United States, formerly known as Lopez Ignacio. Chrysler Building? No. Formerly known as the Sears Tower, what does it go by now? Let's look at East. And time is up, that's the Willis Tower. This is a portrait of Marie Antoinette, who ruled over France in the late 1700s. In what country was Marie Antoinette born? West Coast, Rocio. Austria. That's correct. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Rocio. Say it. Austria. That's right. Okay. What continent contains the highest concentration of jaguars in the world? Lopez Ignacio. South America. I'm sorry? South America. That's correct. In music, how long is this rest? That's Lopez Ignacio. Uh, 16th? Yes. Every May, Red Square in Russia has its victory parade. What victory does the parade honor? Lopez Ignacio. Battle Stalingrad? No. We no. lost. <laughs> East, anyone? Time's up. The victory of Russian troops over Germany in World War II. She struggled for women's suffrage and helped recruit. Let's go East, Rebecca. Harry Tubman. That's correct. Nazi Germany's largest concentration camp was Auschwitz. Let's go East, Rebecca. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Auschwitz in Poland. What companion camp to Auschwitz was the site of the infamous gas chambers? Lopez, anyone? And time is a Birkenau. Birkenau is what that was. And that wraps up our quick picks for today. Masterminds is supported in part by Harlingen Consolidated Independent School District. So after quick picks, Lopez holds on to the lead 70 to 50 over West Laco East. That means East, you get to go first in the grab bag round. Dr. Rivetta has three envelopes which to choose one, two, and three. You can choose anyone you'd like. Um, one? Number one. All right, number one it is. You've got. 60 seconds to answer the 10 questions in here. If you don't know one, say pass, okay? You don't need your buzzers on this. Uh, but again, I'll come back at the end if there's time after you, if you say pass. Your, your topic is drugs. Is that good or bad? <laughs> Identify these various drugs, okay? 60 seconds, here we go. Also called acetosalicylic acid. Vitamin C. No. The first antibiotic. Penicillin. Yes, a drug that has no real effect, but you think it does, so you feel better. Placebo. Yes. Scurvy is a deficiency of what vitamin? Vitamin C. Yes. Tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, is the active ingredient in this illegal drug. Marijuana. Yes. Developed by Chang, Rock, and Pincus, it revolutionized female sexuality. Uh, the birth control. Yes. Tampering with this drug caused death to even to seven persons in Chicago in 1982. Pass. Underproduction of this hormone causes diabetes. Uh, uh, insulin. Yes. <laughs> what drug is lysergic acid dithalamide? Pass. This is the most prescribed tranquilizer in the U.S. Pregnant. No, we'll go back. Tampering with this drug caused death to seven persons in Chicago in 1982. Tano. Yes. Th uh, what drug is lysergic acid dithalamide? Uh, pass. That's the last question. Oh, what okay. drug is, oh, that's it, time is up. How many did we get? Seven correct. Well done. Seven out of ten. Good job. Also called acetosalicylic acid is aspirin. Uh, let's see. Which one's the, the um, lysergic acid dithalamide is LSD, and the most prescribed tranquilizer in the U.S. is Valium. But seven out of ten. Good job. Now, uh, Lopez, it's your turn. Envelopes <coughs> two and three remain. Choose whichever one you'd like. Three. Number three. three it is. All right. Uh, please. I like that. <laughs> Same rules. 60 seconds. Ten questions. Your category is musical instruments. From the description given, identify the musical instrument, okay? No buzzers. Don't forget to pass if you don't know one. Okay. It has four strings and a bow, and it's held against the shoulder. Biden. Yes. 
This woodwind has finger holes, keys, and a single reed mouthpiece. Clarinet. Uh, yes. Name the wide board brass instrument whose pitch is varied by valves. Baritone. No. Which brass instrument derives from a huntsman's horn? French horn. Yes. Which instrument is like a trumpet without keys or valves? Flugel horn. No. A player of this instrument uses mallets to strike a series of graduated wooden bars. Xylophone. Yes. Which instrument is like the head of a drum with jingles on the rim? Chimes. No. In this keyboard instrument, the strings are plucked instead of struck. Harp. Harp. No. Name the four-stringed instrument that is held between the knees and tuned an octave lower than a viola. Cello. Yes. And that is all of them, right? Yes. Let me get correct out of those. Five correct? Okay. And the judges are going to converse on something, I think, so give us just a second. I'll go over the other ones in the meantime. The wide bore brass instrument whose pitch is varied by valves is a tuba. The instrument that, like a trumpet without keys or valves, is a bugle. Uh, the instrument the instrument with the head of a drum with jingles is a tambourine. The keyboard instrument, the strings are plucked instead of struck, is a harpsichord. And have you made a decision on anything else over here? I think we're going to accept euphonium uh, okay. for the wide bore brass instrument. Okay, very good. So that is accepted. So that gives you six, correct? Six, mm -hmm. six correct. Puts you up to 100 points. Good job. So the score is 185. There's one envelope remaining, which nobody chose. Envelope number two. So everybody plays on this one, okay? Let's find out if you're glad you didn't choose this one. Oh, okay. Espana. Answer these questions about Spanish language or history. All right? Everybody's playing. Here we go. What Spanish word describes their own language? East Rocio. Espanol? Yes. What notorious anti heretical movement was begun in 1470? Lopez and Juan C. Crusades. No. East, anybody? Time was up the Spanish Inquisition. On what holiday would one say, Feliz Año Nuevo? East for seal. And New Year's. Yes. What letter, when doubled, is pronounced as Y in Spanish? Lopez 1C. L. L. Yes. Translate the saying and song title, Que Sera Sera. For seal, from West of East. What will be, will be. Correct. Name two of the three languages spoken by more people than Spanish. Lopez Ignacio. Mandarin and English. Uh, yes. In Spain's war against what 19th century conqueror did the term guerrilla originate? That's what squeezed Rebecca. Fidel Castro. No. Sorry. Uh, Lopez Ignacio. Napoleon. Yes. Cuba's 10 year war was a precursor of what international conflict? Uh, you were going the United to say. States and Spanish American War? It was a Spanish American War, but too late, time was already up. So our score at the end of Grab Bag is Lopez 130, West Laco East 115. It's a good game. Time for a break. When we come back, it'll be time for art and music. Don't go away. <laughs> 